in the underwater shots, you would have seen the keel rig that we used. Well, this is how to make it. Just as a quick refresher, it's based on the same principle as a soft plastic jig head, which will always keep the hook point up. This is the same sort of thing and it results in a spectacular hookup and it's really easy to do. So we'll just run through it. We're gonna use that trick where we put the wire at the end of the skirt, find out where the back of the lure hair is, cut it there with the big pliers so that we'll get a nice clean cut and then it's just a whole lot easier to put the crimps on. Okay, now this is slightly different because we're going to introduce a ball bearing swivel and it's 560 pound of strength. So that's stronger than the leader we're using. So it's okay to use it. So we thread that on. Once again, we're gonna crimp it. Remember this is wire. So we put in the crimpers and we start right on the end don't want it to flare, we want it right on the end. Squeeze it nice and tight. Bit hard to do sitting down, but we'll get there. Okay, that's done up nice and tight. And we're just gonna put a bit of heat shrink over the top there because we won't be able to get it on after. And we want this over the eye of the ball bearing swivel. And we, we're doing this so it can't cock back down and tangle. Bring in the heat gun, switch it on, and we'll just shrink that up to start. Once again, we don't want a loose loop, so we'll actually get a bit of shrink crap on that first. So we won't be able to get it on later. Feed on the crimp, put the hook on. Use your thumbnail to push the wire up so it's level. Make sure you can see the wire. You don't want it sliding back up. Crimp down. Again. Okay, that's all good. Next part is put the leader on. Unravel it. Once again, we're using 400 pound hard leader, which has got great abrasion resistance. The thinner leader allows the lure to work a whole lot better. Put the crimp on, put a tube on. Again, we're using stainless steel sleeves there. Feed it through. Once again, we'll melt it. Put a little blob on there, pull the tag end in, push the spring down and crimp up. Crimp twice. Turn the crimp over. and we'll feed the lure on. Okay, now, this time, again, we're gonna be using a crimp. And we're going to be putting the ball bearing swivel on. So we need some protection. Once again, we can use a thimble, we can use nylon tube, or we can use the springs. In this case, I much prefer a thimble it gives you full strength and it protects it to some extent. But remember, we do want to close it. So we close that up together. Thread it all up. Crimp, once again, separate it from the other nylon so it doesn't burn it when we use the torch. Get a little blob, wait for it to cool down and solidify. Pull the tag end down so the little blob's sitting right up against the crimp. Then we line up the thimble. Get that nice and snug. Once again, this time we actually start crimping at the thimble end. If we start at the other end, we'll actually tighten up the nylon inside and it will affect the crimp. 
and we'll weaken it. So we do start at the thimble end when we're doing nylon. Okay, both ends. Turn it over, crimp again. Now it's always a good idea to check your work. Even though you think you're really good at it, something might have gone wrong, your crimps might be wearing out, your crimping plies, you might have chosen the wrong crimp. To check your work, all you do is you put the hook through the loop. Good bit of exercise too. Take a couple of wraps, should really wear gloves for this. And give it a really tight pull. You can get a couple of mates to do this as well. And that will just show you that you have crimped everything up because once in a while you might forget to do one if you're doing a batch. Okay, we're happy that that's strong. We don't have to redo anything at the moment. And that's the setup there. So we've got that bit of shrink tubing on there. We'll just bring that up to there. And we'll hit shrink it. Okay, we don't need to do any more to that. Now, all we're going to do now is put the keel on. And all the keel is, is half a sinker. You can actually cut sinkers in half or you can buy yourself a mould. Very important to get the flat piece over the eye because we don't want that moving around. So we do get the sinker or the keel over the eye and we use a rubber band and we start wrapping. We try and get as many wraps on that as we possibly can because we don't want it to move. It's important that it's nice and tight and the reason we're using a light rubber band is when that hits a marlin's mouth that is rough, the rubber band will break and the sinker will come off so that the sinker can't be used as a pendulum. Okay, we'll just finish off by putting a loop around there and that's it, job's done. So now when that hits the water, that keel will make the point sit dead upright like that. When a fish comes along, the point's in the right direction. Ball bearing swivel will allow the hook to maintain its position no matter what the lure is doing in turbulent water, a lure may spin. A lot of lures have an action that spins. And there we go, we've got the keel rig with the eye just inside the skirt. That's perfect. The hook will stay upright. The lure can do what it wants. It's just a great rig, give it a go.